Usually, I remind her that we can have two face our feelings alone makes all the difference in easy our fears. Fourteen this step with the support of our sponsor and a loving girl is a way of putting into practice our decision to allow God to come for our will and our life. Let the decision. Yeah. <laughs> 
Not only do we 
our job is in the town entirely ready and to open our house and lines to the digging tunnel changes that can only be brought about by the presence of a loving God. We already had experience in the third step with what we must be now in the sixth step. Just as we surrendered our will and lived to the care of a power greater than ourselves because we could no longer go on managing our own lives. We now the care is surrender our defects of character to a loving God because we have accustomed our attempts to change on our own willpower. This process is difficult and often painful. Our growing awareness of our defects often causes us pain. We all heard the expression ignorance is this, but we are no longer ignorant of our character defects. And this awareness starts. All of a sudden, we notice a little look in the eyes of a friend after we left the gun one of our pleasant dearing friends. We have our friends in shame, mumble an apology and probably beat ourselves in the day for being so careless one more time. We can sit inside, knowing how our actions would worsely affect the people in our lives. We are sick and tired of being the people we have been, but this feeling could help us to change and grow. We want to be different than we can be in the past, and the good news is that we already are. Being able to see and our own interests and being concerned about the feelings of other parts that you changes. Considering that our raging self-obsession is at the core of our disease. We are likely to be very frustrated as we notice that our defects are getting in the way of our recovery. If we may attempt to suppress them ourselves by either denying their existence or hiding them from others, we may think that if no one knows about them, our more unattractive characteristics will go away. What we must do Rather than try to absorb power and control over our defects, is step out of the way and allow a loving God to work in our lives. One part of this process involves becoming responsible for our behavior. When we are confronted with our character defects, Either by our own insight or by someone we have heard, we begin by taking complete responsibility for our actions. We then avoid responsibility by saying something like, Well, God hasn't removed that piece of the 